All right, so now what is going on, everybody? Philippine HD here, bringing you guys another video. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a quick tutorial slash tips and tricks on how to improve FPS in H1Z1, King of the Kill. Um, so basically, H1Z1 is, or King of the Kill at least, is pretty poorly optimized because I before when I was on Windows 7, I'm on Windows 10 currently. I had friends who had a like a... A lower spec PC than mine, but did indeed get more FPS than me, which was weird to begin with. But then I upgraded to Windows 10, and my FPS is better. So if you're having, if you're on Windows 7, I was on Windows 7 64-bit Ultimate. So if you're on that and you're having problems with um, uh, FPS, I suggest trying Windows 10, trying the upgrade, and if you don't like it, revert back. I personally got used to it. I I just it's it's not that bad when you get used to it. It just takes some time to get used to. So let's get into the tutorial. So basically, to boost some FPS, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go uh, into your H1Z1 folder. So go to your Steam library, find H1Z1, right click properties, and that's just on my other monitor. So you're gonna it, it, this screen is gonna pop up, right? Um, and then you're gonna want to go to set launch options, okay? Well, first, I'm going to put all of these in the description. Um, as for CPU count and threads and max memory, find out your C how much cores your CPU has, how much thread your C is threads your CPU has, and how much memory of RAM you have. Um, that's going to have to be for yourself. Other than that, everything else you can copy and paste, but those three are going to be the ones that you have to, um, you have to find out yourselves. So um, then to get into the H1Z1 folder, you're just going to want to go to local files and browse local files. So then this is going to pop up. Now, if you're really struggling with FPS, I recommend doing this. I did this purposely for the video, but after the video, I'm going to put it back to true. So everything, it should be one. It should look like this. Here. It should look, everything should be true. Um, and if it does look like that, then if you really want to gain more FPS, put this all the false, but I'm going to put it at true because I, in cities, I average around, um, 80 to hundred FPS and in fields and like housing districts, like, like small housing districts, or even, I think even normal housing districts, I average from anywhere from like 120 to 180, even 200 if the field is completely open. So, um, I don't, I really don't need to have that at false, but you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to see a file called user options. Now you're going to want to here, I'll full screen this here. So user, this is the main folder. Like this is where everything, like you want everything to be perfect. So you can get the most amount of FPS. So full screen refresh. I have at zero. Maximize zero full screen. This is gonna be your resolution. I play at 1600 by 900 because personally I like that resolution and I also use uh, a crosshair that really works well with this resolution. So um, the resolution is up to you, but I do recommend either 1600 by 900, 1600 by 1024, or 60 or 1440 by 900. So. To do that, you're going to see full screen width and height. For example, 1440 by 900. You're going to want to go 1440 by 900. And then, you know, you, you'd save everything after. But I'm going to put that back to 1600 by 900. Uh, windowed width and height, I don't know. I didn't change that. Um, I don't know what to do with that. Mode full screen, full screen mode, full screen. Um, I recommend playing full screen if you play windowed or windowed like borderless like full screen windowed I do not recommend that. Okay, I do not at all. So this is gonna be the main part of of Like the FPS boost So what you're gonna want to do here You're gonna always want to have your effects quality on two now The reason for that is if you have it any lower you will not be able to see bullet impacts into the ground or um, gunshot or not gunshots a uh, blood you will not be able to see blood so two is the lowest you want to go overall quality i have at negative one because that's low uh texture quality one shadow quality one floor quality one render distance 1500 now 
I recommend if you want to get the most FPS, 1500 when parachuting and 500 when you're on the ground. Now, the way to do that is you hit the bracket to the right of P to lower it and the bracket to the right. Uh, so you hit the left bracket to lower it, the right bracket to higher it. So 1500 to 2000 when you're um, parachuting and then 500 when you're on ground, it will really help uh, your FPS. It will boost it by a lot. Um, gamma, that's just brightness. So I have it at 0.2 because I like my game a little brighter. Maxima, uh, maximum FPS, you want to put that at negative one so that it's not capped for some reason. Negative one makes it so it doesn't cap. So you have unlimited FPS. Um, use LOD 0A, put that at 0. Smoothing 0. Model quality, you could put that at 1 or 2. I keep that at 1. Fog shadows enable 0. AO, so uh, 0. Vertical FOV, that's just your FOV. I keep that at 67. Um, I like it like that. Personally, you could put it to 74. 74 is the max. I, I recommend anywhere from 67 to 74. Between, though, between uh, those two numbers, that's like the best like field of view in my opinion uh lighting quality zero particle lod zero v-sync you never want to have v-sync on if you have a 144 hertz monitor like i do um depth of field zero speed tree lod zero and interior lighting zero um everything else you don't really want to change everything else um is is not really uh like useful it's just these are this is the main stuff that you really want to mess with um so uh you're gonna after you're done you know you're gonna save it um if it's by the way if it is on read only because it may be on read only like if you try to save it and it gives you the option or it tells you like you have to save it in a different location all you're gonna want to do is just minimize it go to the user options right click it properties and there's gonna be uh attributes and if read only is checked uncheck it and then um save it so uh yeah, th those are just some tips on how to boost your FPS. Um, anything really helps uh, when you do that. Like, it'll boost. It may not boost it a lot, but it does give you a little bit more FPS. So, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be making more videos soon, and I'm out. Peace.